Good day, Tubes. She is a sunny day today. Holy friggin' nice and warm. It's actually really nice out here. But uh, how are you guys doing today? Um, pretty good here and stuff. Uh, so I guess this is going to be uh, trailer build number 15. Um, or maybe 14 and a half. Not really a 15. I'm just kind of going to be doing some, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, welding and stuff on it. Uh, just to uh, beef up those uh, uh, plates and stuff we put on there a bit, you know, and stuff. And just going to add a bit here and there and stuff and stuff and stuff. So um, what I'm going to do is get it uh, probably out here a little bit. Um, what I want to do is hook onto her here somehow and uh, get um, the uh, tractor and lifter up here so I can do a bit of welding along these front plates here you know in the, the cracks and stuff and and uh, maybe I'll do a bit more inside here too you know just to make her a little not watertight but uh, like someone was saying dirt tight kind of thing right so there's uh, you know I need some more tension over there and stuff in the corner so I'll maybe uh, give that a glue job too so uh, and then I kind of want to attach it somehow to the frame there even though there's a well I could do it here you know let's go right in there and, and that'll that'll attach her down a bit so probably do that all the way around so uh, without further ado let's get her outside get her up in the air Okay, tube, so I'm sorry about this little spot up at the top right there. There's something on the lens on the inside. I don't know how the frig I got in there, but whatever. There we go. So there's going to be, of course, another little issue here uh, as to how long I'm going to be able to go. <laughs> this doesn't look like going to be very long. I've got oh, maybe a hundred and a bit pounds left in there, so it's probably not going to last too long, but uh, we'll get as far as we can because I'm not really planning on hitting up the TSC today, but uh, my main part is to get the uh, front uh, kind of sewed up a bit better here, you know, so... Um, but, uh, yeah, we'll just start working down here, I guess, and get a little bit, you know, on the front here, and then right in the middle here kind of thing, just to, just to hold her from blowing away, you know, because we don't want her to blow away, <laughs> like it's going to, but, uh, anyways, let's get situated here, and we'll get to doing a bit of gluing. Testing out the new gloves today, tubes. This one feels a little tight, but this one's not bad. Urgh. That's the one that wore out before, I guess, because I'm always holding stuff and doing stuff with it, and this one I'm just, you know, with the gun, right? But uh, that's all right. See, that might have this too high. It's too tall for me. It's a bit too high, but uh, it's okay.
There we go. It's not looking too bad. It kind of rushed her, but uh, it's uh, just to hold the, the dirt and stuff in, you know, and stuff. But uh, definitely need some down the sides here too. But uh, I don't know. Not going to go so crazy as on the front, maybe. But uh, that was a lot of freaking sploshing in there just to get that filled. But should do her all the way across. But uh, eh, what the frig, eh? What the frig? But. Uh, I might do some of these more from the inside. Oh, I just about killed myself. Uh, do them from in here, I think, and stuff. So I'll do a few more along there, and it'd be nice to work like this, and you know, zing, 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 zing down, right? So I'll maybe put these up over here somewhere. You can still be able to see in the box a bit. So one sec, tubes. Okay, so it's not looking good. Our freaking needle's resting on the pin thing there now, so we're just about out of gas, I'd say. But I'll get as much done here as I can. What I got left. So I got beeped at. Anyways, uh, we're making it pretty good here, but uh, yeah, we're uh, we're pretty much running on on fumes, I would say. But uh, we'll keep going.
Still going. Somehow. Uh oh. We might have timed out. Well, I'd say that's pretty darn near empty. It's still going, but uh, she just thermoed on me again there, so. Stupid thing. Not really that hot coming out of the vent though, but I guess it's uh, better than melting the thing down, so. Well, we did pretty good, you know, that's a fair bit of heat put down to that. And uh, we did all the front too here, right? So, that's not too bad really. It's a bit warm there though, I was putting heat into her, I'll tell you that. But, uh, yeah, tubes, I know I need a bigger welder and stuff, you know, one that would uh, go a lot longer or something when you're juicing it like that for welding this thicker stuff, but, uh, you know, I just uh, spent, uh, what was it, uh, $1,200 on something on this one. So maybe a little bit more with the tax on there. So I don't think I'm going to be going out to buy an iron one anytime soon. We'll just have to make it work for now. So uh, unless she melts down or something like that, but uh, you know, it still works pretty good. So, but uh, it's done good with this project. But uh, I couldn't see me going to buy anything bigger, even though I would like something bigger. But, uh, and, you know, the next size tips and the next, or the next size nozzle and everything, too, right? They have, uh, bigger ones than this. I think that's a half inch hole there. They have ones like, you know, quite a bit bigger, right? But uh, anyways, uh, I guess uh, that's all we can do for now until she cools down. So, yeah, there she goes. But, uh, take the helmet off. Oh man, that thing is heavy. And I'll uh, slap him up there. But, uh, yeah, we're looking pretty good. I don't know if I'm going to take the welt all the way back. I might just go to the wheels. Summer, you know, and then the water can spill out the back kind of thing or whatever if it gets water in it. But uh, probably when I got it parked, I'll probably just leave it jacked up, you know, so the water won't pool in there, right? But I uh, definitely want to go down the other side to about the same. Maybe I'll just continue it to that weld there, you know, to this to this blobby one there. Then call her a day, and same with that one over there, maybe. Uh, uh, that one. That one? Yeah. So we'll just continue the line down there. That stupid thing on the lens, eh? Right there. I can't freaking do anything about it unless I zoom past it. I don't know. There's something inside. Right inside the lens behind the, the front cover lens. So, I don't know. Whatever. Might have to get a new camera. Who knows? But, uh, anyhow, I guess, uh, we'll just leave her cooling for now. Maybe go up and chew up some more leaves. Come back in a bit. Okay, let's get at her again, dudes. I think we're going to run out of gas this time.
I guess we're to our well. Let's do this and whoa, I did it again. It's a little bit longer here. Um, I'm just going to go down a little bit more on this guy here. I don't know if you guys will see this or not. I'll move over there. Almost. Just did a couple more welds up the side over here, um, down on the bottom and stuff, just to kind of you know make her a bit better. But uh, I think I'm gonna put her down now. She's throwing it out on me again here, so freak sakes. Oh well, let's put her down. So, so I'm kind of thinking about doing, uh, getting the fenders ready here, but not uh, today because I'm starting out of gas. So, um, just needed your opinions though, what you thought. Or she's going to go, I think it's the same both ways. It's going to go like there somewhere, but you can see if I found it right to that, we're still leaving a bit of a, a gap here. So I'm not too sure whether to uh, just take a couple of short pieces. Weld something like that on there, and weld that to that, or going with something out like that to whatever the angle would be here. You know, it wouldn't be that long, but uh, but uh, you know, and then weld it to this here, right? So I think it would only come to probably the end here or something, right? But uh, I don't know. What did you guys think? What uh, What's the better way to do it like that, or then weld it on like the side? Not much to really hold it though. It's kind of more permanent to put it right along there, you know. Although you got that ugly looking thing sticking out, but I don't know. What do you guys think? I uh, go either way, but uh, I'll leave a comment too. See what uh, what, you, what you think. Okay, tube. So I had another brain wave. What about uh, doing it with that longer piece, but? We'd uh, notch cut that out or something, so it's in there, you wouldn't even hardly see it. And then this would go underneath in something like that, but it had to be far enough away it would clear the tire, right? So I'd probably put them here or something and then run it in through here. I don't know, I'm be pretty tight back there, but you could just run it right flat in there kind of thing and then weld up from the inside. So you'd have it, uh, well, it'd be no different than, this looks like it's about the same, pretty much that, so it's not going to be like in the way of anything other than, than that, right? So that's sort of another idea, but uh, yeah, leave a comment if you don't mind, and uh, let me know what you think. So I guess we'll take uh, the tank off for now. I'm not going to 
take her back today, but uh, I'm soon going to have to pick up, uh, oh, maybe five bags of their sandblast sand up there at TSC, so we'll have to uh, get ourselves loaded up on that, and, uh, you know, because we're going to sandblast this project here soon. That was weird. Didn't seem to fit right. Good enough, I guess, but uh, how the heck do these things work? Oh, yeah, that's right. Just like that. Pull the cord out of the wall. Stupid thing. And get rid of these magnets. And then pull this one out. Uh oh. Something's not right here. Uh oh. Oh, that one stays on this crate. Okay, dudes, I think we're just about ready to yank this out here. Hopefully. Well, that was a cool noise, eh? Well, there we go. So, let's just see, actually, if I can get this cap back off of here. Hang on, tubes. Let's just see how much is actually left in here. There's a little bit. Oh, well. Not too much to be concerned about. It showed pretty much zero on the gauge there, so there might have been, you know, 100 pounds left. That's not the right lid. That's a Lindy, Lindy one, and this is a Prax Air tank. I wonder I had grease. Hmm. Right. I'll just have to remember not to grab her too hard by the lid, I guess. Oh my God, it just did there. So that's okay. But yeah, I'll take that back maybe in whatever days or something, and then uh, get some, uh, probably five bags would be lots. I'm not going to go, I'm just going to, you know, just to get rid of the worst of it, because, you know, it's going to be outside anyway, so what the frig. I'm going to use pretty good primer on it, so it would be nice to fill the rest of that in, wouldn't it? But uh, I don't know. I don't know. It would look nicer, probably. But uh, we're adding a lot of weight to it though. <laughs> but uh, she's coming. Anyways, we'll get her sandblasted up and uh, give her some primer and then uh, let her sit for a bit and then uh, load the uh, green John Deere on her. But anyways, tubes, I'm uh, just about done my leaves out there. They've all fallen and stuff, so I'm just sort of chewing up the last, you know, sort of remnants of them. And uh, then I guess I can start changing over and putting my, uh, my brush dewy on, so... I was sort of thinking about it this morning and uh, changing over these plates and everything on the front just to mount differently to this thing. Sort of a pain in the rear end, eh? Because uh, there's a, another box thingy that mounts into that that goes on the tractor and it stays on the tractor with the other plates. The other plates are a lot shorter. These ones are uh, quite a bit longer and the other ones are only about to here. And it's got this sort of hook, but it's up here more, right? Holy freak, all the sirens are going. Looks like they're heading north. But uh, I was kind of thinking it'd be nice to switch them, but no, 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 now that I look at it, this one's actually got a bend because the other one's smaller plates go on the outside. So that would sort of make it the same dimensionally thing so I don't know I might be able to rig something up that sort of looks like around a half inch plate maybe I don't know I've got lots of material left so um, you know I can always trace out and plasma cut or something out just like that so that'd be actually pretty sweet if I could just uh, you know have the one set of plates on all year long and then just be able to swap it and then put the freaking uh, uh, brush attachment -y stuff all on and everything you know that'd be awesome but uh, yeah, because changing these isn't bad, but, you know, it's it's an extra freaking pain in the, you know, what, every year that I don't really need to be to be worried about. Because I've always wanted to try to cut cut grass with snow on it. You know, or go over the road with the blower, or the, the uh, mower going, and blah, snow out the side or something. I think that'd be kind of weird, but uh, never have done that, so I probably shouldn't do that. Probably be hard on things, but I don't know, whatever, but... Uh, yeah, another thing we got to do soon is try to see what's wrong with this tire. This thing here. So, but uh, one of these days, I filled her up today just to uh, 
keep her from getting weird spots on the tire and stuff but uh, I don't know we'll do her someday but uh, it's gonna have to all, probably all come apart and have a look inside of that tire just to make sure there's nothing actually poking into it anywhere because uh, there could be or uh, I think I might have hit a nail in that back field one day there so but uh, we'll figure that out you know one of these days but uh, yeah so I'm gonna go chew up some more leaves I guess now try to get them mostly uh, mostly done today and then the next uh, couple of few days or whatever so maybe this week we'll maybe get this thing mounted on again make sure she's all good and stuff she's been sitting outside for a while because I've sort of lost room inside you know but uh, I could put it in now I guess with the uh, trailer just in there because it doesn't take as much room as the big tractor but eh, 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 you know it's not gonna really hurt it to be out here she's well lubed and everything so it's you know it's not gonna hurt nothing it's got all the covers and stuff on it so she should be fine but there's a small chain case on the other side that might need a little attention maybe but i don't know we'll see what happens but uh yeah anyways tubes uh, i guess that's going to be here today like i was saying i'm going to go chew up the rest of the leaves hopefully get them all done today that would be nice i'm getting tired of freaking leaves they're all down i think pretty much now some of the little wee small trees hang on to them till like the springtime but you know that's okay whatever we'll we'll suck them up and chew them up in the springtime so uh, anyways tubes uh, thanks for watching and stuff today and uh, I guess we'll just make this like a 14 and a half or something because it's not really a 15 we didn't really do a whole lot much more to it except to sort of weld onto the trailer but anyways uh, let me know what you think about um, those uh, fendery things and stuff and um, which way we should do it I'm kind of almost thinking that the second way with a longer piece sort of cut the fender out and then put it underneath whatever weld it like that might be all right We'll just have to get the angle edges right and stuff and uh, stuff there like that and stuff so anyways tubes uh you guys have a good one thanks for watching the stuff and uh we'll talk to you later oh i forgot to mention to you is i also got a funeral coming up for thursday full size so it's going to be awesome to try this for the you know sort of first kind of real time for actually doing what i made it to do for so should be uh, pretty good man it's already starting to rust the way holy but uh i don't know maybe someday this uh oh yeah we gotta cut buddy's name over here too keep forgetting about that but, um, yeah, maybe I'll do that. I'll cut Buddy's name off and just weld my name back in so she's more permanent, you know. So, but anyways, yeah, thanks a lot, Tubes, and talk at you later, and let me know what you think about those fenders.